So in relation to the area of mining, you will read in the document that we're not necessarily calling for a nationalization of all mines <laughs> in South Africa. We don't think that's a realistic proposition. <coughs> but we do say that we need a state that can have a company that can intervene in the strategic minerals that can either help us leverage the resources we need for education and training and all of that, and or that can help us improve the industrial base of South Africa. The, the iron and steel, for example, will be a very good example to consider. Platinum will be a very good example to consider. So we're calling for a discussion about what are those strategic areas where the state must take up ownership, either on its own or in partnership with, uh, with uh, private companies. So we're not in any way proposing some monopoly capitalism but transfer to the state, because that's not practical. It has to be a strategic intervention by the state, not to own the entire, for example, construction industry. That's not what we're asking for. But we're asking for a company that can drive housing development, infrastructure development, at cost that uh, the poor and the economy can afford, instead of, of, uh, of, of, of uh, relating, for example, the cement to the dictates of the capitalist rules, such as for profit maximization and all of that. So we're not calling for a blanket maximize or blanket nationalization of any kind. In all the sectors that we have listed, we know that will not work practically. But we do want a state that can play a much more direct role in all the areas that we think are strategic in the economy. That's the full answer in relation to that.